It was a clash of opinions here at the Big Walnut School Board meeting tonight. Every single person that spoke during public comment and most of the packed crowd speaking out against a ban on pride flags and other flags. The board pushing the vote for another day. They need to be focusing on things that actually affect the day to day lives of the students in the district and not so much on these issues that just seek to divide the community more than unite it. The signs and symbols on the chopping block were seen all over the Big Walnut School Board meeting. The resolution does not specifically name pride flags or any other flag for that matter. You mean supporting the police? Yes. Why wouldn't it be allowed? Because it, it's not one of these. The American flag, Ohio flag, military flags, and country flags would be the only flags, symbols, and signs approved. It's not screaming at anybody. It's not slapping anybody in the face when they're walking in the classroom. That means no pride flags, Black Lives Matter signs, no back the blue flags, and no Ohio State flags, for example. There's a huge need to support all of our students, um, especially those who identify as LGBTQ and those who don't even recognize where they identify right now. Tension was high as board members clashed with each other and with the crowd. <laughs> will tell you the decorum will be maintained. No parents spoke up for the ban. They could have sent emails, um, but they weren't here to vocalize it. And I think it speaks a lot of good to our community um, and to our students that we do support them um, and that we'll stand up for them no matter what. But the resolution lives to be voted on another day. The hate that is expressed, whether it's coded language, or coded resolution, um, is not representative of the best of us. If passed, this resolution would take effect immediately, but that won't take place until a second reading at the meeting on December 14th. Local for you in Sunbury, I'm Kyle Beachy, NBC4.